dear friends and yours welcome back to our channel anvine kumar basics of physics dear friends in this video we are going to discuss about the one of the most important question that is the di explain dynamic lift with examples this is the related to the chapter mechanical properties of fluids and very important question and very easiest one clear so if you want to learn something you have to watch the video with very patience don't skip the video okay what is mean by dynamic lift dear students there is upward force acting on the body due to the change in pressure when the body is moving through the fluid that should be what we call dynamic lift lift means what we have to lift means what we have to apply the force in upward direction in this case also one object is in air or fluid or water water may be in this case we are talking about the air only when the body is moving in air there is some upward force acting on the body because of change in pressure that is what we call dynamic lift in daily life examples we can observe so many places this dynamic lift for example in a room one table it is there on that table some papers are there if you can switch on the fan then the papers will blow off they should be moves away flies they can flies actually the fan is rotating and the papers which are on the table they are just below that fan the air is coming downwards clear the air must be pushes the paper in downward then obviously there should be fall onto the ground but they are flying in the air how it's possible and next thing in the same room some calendars are suspended to the walls or windows anything water may be then also again we switch on the fan when the fan is at the operating condition if you can switch on that one what you can understand the papers of calendar will flies like this they should be shake like this actually the air should be for example if it is the calendar the air should be like moves like this but the calendar should be must be goes like that clear but what's happening there the calendar will flies in opposite direction to the air why what's the reason and in during the summer season some winds are came very with very maximum velocities then roofs of the houses they must be fly off without falling in downwards the roofs of the houses and dust particles everything should be flies off what's the reason for that so for all of them the reason is dynamic lift what is dynamic lift there is some upward force acting on the body due to change in pressure clear and that should be given one example this example in our textbook spinning motion of a ball clear so when the ball is moving in the air without any spin what's happening there when the ball can be going to be spin i think most of you will play the cricket in that spin ball it is there spin bowling what's happened that why the ball is going to be spin when a ball reaches just releases the ball in from his hands just he can turns fingers only at that time the ball can spin but when it is in air also that is going to be spin what's happening there let's see here before going to understand that first we have no idea you have idea about the streamline flow what is mean by streamline flow if you can imagine fluid into the number of layers number of layers the lines which can have the same velocity at different points that should be called a streamline in a fluid at some points same velocity is there 
by joining the, all these points we will get one streamline like this here this is one point one point one point this is a fluid on that fluid here these are having same velocity then you can join them now it is a streamline so similarly we have number of streamlines like this they never intersect each other because they have different different velocities that is a streamline flow and now here let us see go for example what's happened in the case of ball without spin and with spin here look on board two diagrams are there here now this is the first case look here ball moving without spin ball is not spin simply the ball is moving in air then you can observe here the number of streamlines above the ball and below the ball are same and they are almost all equally separated almost all equally separated here i am saying now this is the velocity v1 and this is the velocity v2 now the velocities of the streamline force above the ball and below the ball both are same that's why there is equal pressure above the ball below the ball then pressure difference is almost all zero pressure difference is zero when the ball is in motion without spin then there is no force acting on the ball if there is any pressure difference then only upward force is acting in this case velocities are same then pressure is also same that's why there is no upward force acting on the ball when it is without spin Similarly, you have to write in case of a spinning of ball the here the number of group of streamlines above the ball and below the ball both are same and they have same velocities and there is no change in pressure difference also it means that what pressure above the ball and below the ball both are similar then the ball will go without any spin clear children now coming to the second point what it is here the ball is spinning the ball is spin when a ball is in spin what's happened there here you may observe during the playing the cricket matches the cricket the players will makes the ball to make to rough by rubbing with the pant uh, something and they can rub like this a ball they are going to do surface of the ball is going to be rough especially while a spinner is going to be bowl and they will clean and they will not right rub like this why means when they can rub the ball the ball surface becomes rough when it can rubs the ball will drags the air along with it when a spinner can spins the ball while the ball is spinning in motion air the ball can drags the air along with the ball in the same direction clear if the ball is moving with respect of the velocity v while it is spinning we will take the relative velocity total velocity is v plus vr v plus vr that means velocity of the ball and velocity of the ball with respect of the air by spinning it then what is v plus vr and below the ball v minus vr that means simply what you have right you can observe the diagram the crowd there is some here what you have to say these are very crowded the streamlines above the ball they are very close to each other and below the ball the streamlines are rarefied they have some difference with distance between the streamlines clear that's why what you have to say above the ball the streamlines are closer together that's why velocity is more here below the ball the streamlines are separated by some distance velocity is less when the velocity is more when the velocity is more above the ball pressure is less pressure is less where above the ball above the ball why because velocity is more velocity is more and pressure is less next here below the ball velocity is less velocity is less and pressure is more clear below the ball 
pressure is more velocity is less that means what from the ball from the down of the ball bottom of the ball the pressure is acting in upward that's why here the ball is going to be spin again cut my point just this is the reason behind the wings of the airplane and spinning of the ball all the same here in case of spinning motion we have to imagine or divide the fluid into the two parts above the ball and below the ball above the ball the velocity is more below the ball velocity is less when velocity is less pressure is more when pressure is more obviously it can lift the ball again that means what below the above the ball pressure is less and it is more there is some pressure difference is there due to the pressure difference some force is acting on the ball in upward direction due to that the ball is going to be spin so children this is a dynamic lift and its example the same thing is here one more it is there aeroplane wings aeroplane wings same concept again again same concept what it is for a aeroplane wing this is a like aeroplane wing clear again above the above the wing what you have velocity is more velocity is more and pressure is less and below the wing velocity is less velocity is less and uh, pressure is more again there is what is there is some pressure difference takes place pressure difference takes place due to that some upward force acting on the wings of the aeroplane so if it is a aeroplane wing this is the fluid above the wing and this is the fluid below the wing for aeroplane wings the fluid which is the below that should be having lesser velocity due to that that should be having more pressure and that should be here it can lift the wings into the air by some upward force that is what we call dynamic lift so dear friends if you can understand this one like share comment the video and subscribe my channel and press the bell icon too if you really enjoyed my subject my way of teaching please share my channel to your friends also okay thank you for watching